welcome to today's session on mobile view. We'll start this session as kind of an overview of what mobile view is, and we'll kind of dive into some of the details around it. So as a beginning portion, so mobile view is a location based software that's used for tracking people, assets, pretty much anything that can move around. Um, it leverages Wi Fi technology for that locationing. It also um, has an entire suite of applications, and we'll run through a number of that here a little bit later in the foundation section. Um, this tracking can be used for anything from asset management to evacuation monitoring. So think of like e-mustering solutions, being able to make sure that you know where personnel are um, in an emergency situation, make sure that they've got um, first aid, make sure they have water, fire suppression equipment, stuff like that. Um, as well as for environmental monitoring. So being able to log temperature, humidity, voltage, kind of any of the things on those, uh, those tags and the sensors that are available there from a monitoring perspective. Um, to get started, these basically will start from a tags perspective. So there's a huge array of tags that are available. Anything from tags that are built and ready to be used in kind of a workplace environment like an office building. Um, there are hardened devices that uh, you can use in mining operations, industrial applications, refineries, places like that. Um, there are tags that, uh, that also have additional sensors like humidity and temperature. And there are also um, embedded tags, and that's like this T3i that you see down here. And those you can actually put into hard hats as an example or you can build them into just about any device um, to be able to incorporate uh, tagging and locationing. So from the tags perspective, how do you actually get those set up? So to be able to do that, you need a TED, which is a tag activator and exciter detector. So this is about the same size as a cell phone, um, fits in your pocket, uh, bi-directional communications, so basically helps you set up the tags also allows you um, to identify um, initial testing for exciters, also allows you to realize if there's interference for tags so that you can kind of place exciters in appropriate places. Um, and again, it's really just kind of small portable handheld um, and micro USB for charging. Very simple, very straightforward, tags into an iOS application. Um, very nice and convenient from a of building out tags and being able to place exciters perspective. Um, then when you look at exciters, there are a number of different exciters, kind of different form factors, different sizes, different shapes, different capacities. Um, we can kind of step you through some of the uh, details with those, but this is really being able to identify if a tag is within range of those exciters. So think about going in and out of buildings, think about being able to be in a muster point, um, and really kind of the tacking and asset management that goes along with that. So now let's dive into how the tags actually work. So how does, how does it actually figure out where a tag is and how do you know where that tag is in an environment? So we'll go ahead and look at this one. This is, uh, you can see the schematic there. So again, you've got an AP that's about five meters away. Um, another AP that's showing from an RSSI value that it's about 20 meters away. And then you've got a third one that shows about 10 meters away. So when you think about this, you'll actually see it's basically building arcs. And then when there's when those arcs intersect, that's actually how um, you identify where that physical tag is. So you'll see one at five, one at 20, and then there's another arc there at 10. And that tells you where the actual tag posi <clears throat> position is. Next, so foundation, how does this all come together? So the RSSI values come in from the tags to the access point. Um, those then are deposited with the positioning server, engine manager software, and those communicate into the gateways as well. From the gateways, then you get um, alerts in addition. So again, like instant notifier, HTT post, um, all stored in a SQL database. And then also there is a SOAP based API that will allow integration into third party applications. And that's really kind of a key point. And we'll actually dive into um, that SOAP integration here in an up upcoming episode. Um, it is a little bit of an older technology from an API perspective, but it does give you a tremendous amount of, um, of access to different data points 
really allows MobileView not only to be used for asset management, but also as a middleware platform so that you can kind of build out different solutions based on that. And then um, again, we'll have another deep dive there. And if you all have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'll have our contact information up here. And uh, thank you again for joining.